A former juvenile court judge in Pennsylvania could face more than 10 years in prison after being convicted in a kids for cash scheme. Prosecutors say he used children as pawns, locking them up unjustly in a plot to get rich. Our Lindsay Davis has more. Do you need to be? Do you remember me? Do you remember me? Do you remember my son? An all-star wrestler? He's gone. He's gone. This mother's rage and fury greeted former judge Mark Chivarella as he exited court Friday. Chivarella sent Sandy Fonzo's son to juvenile detention for possession of drug paraphernalia. Years later, he killed himself. Prosecutors say Chivarella was involved in a kids for cash scandal. He's accused of taking a million dollars in exchange for putting juvenile defendants into private detention centers, though that's something he denies to this day. Absolutely never took a dime to send a kid anywhere. If that was the case, that would have been in this trial. In one reported case, he sentenced a child to two years for joyriding in his mom's car. Some of the kids he ordered locked up were as young as 10. In 2009, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court dismissed 4,000 cases Chivarella handled, saying they had no confidence in his rulings. On Friday, he was found guilty of 12 of 39 charges, including racketeering, money laundering, and conspiracy, but was not charged with extortion. No, you know what he told everybody in court? They need to be held accountable for their actions. You need to be. You re Chivarella remains free at this time, but he's expected to get a minimum prison sentence of 12 years behind bars. Sandy Fonzo doesn't consider that justice. For Good Morning America, Lindsay Davis, ABC News.